the coral grouper, Plectropomus leopardus, more commonly known as red lapu, is a commercially important fish species in the Philippines. It is the main target of live reef fish for food trade, particularly in Palawan and Tawi-Tawi, where there are high catch demands from all over the Indo-Pacific. Many reefs in the Philippines support natural populations of red lapu. However, Overexploitation and unsustainable fishing practices resulted to the decline of its natural stocks. As a response, management policies have been implemented in most of these areas, especially in major trading sites of Tawi-Tawi and Palawan. But because these sites are separated by large distances over water, managing the entire population becomes a daunting task. This leads us to ask, is there a single phenotypic stock of red lapu? Various methods are used to provide information about fish populations. The more popular ones are direct tagging and populations genetics. Although these methods have high resolving power, data analyses are particularly costly. Here, we use autolith morphometrics, which uses shape outlines of fish ear bones. This was applied in other fish populations such as sardines, Atlantic herring, snappers, and many more. We found out that Taitai and Tawi-Tawi shared the same phenotypic stock, whereas Linapakan and Quezon revealed different clusters. Major differences were observed in the rostrum and overall shape of the otoliths, which have been previously linked to genetic and environmental variants. Our result is supported by a connectivity model which shows Taitai as a larval source to Tawi-Tawi, particularly during monsoon season. Sites in Quezon distributes larvae primarily to the West Philippine Sea, while Tawi-Tawi is mostly to the Celebes Sea. So, what does it tell us? Populations of red lapu in Linapakan and Quezon are two separate units. So, policies should be based on local needs. Taitai and Tawi-Tawi may be treated as a single phenotypic stock, but given that both sites contribute larvae to different reefs, we propose a conservative approach to manage this population separately too. We also recommend further validation of our results using other methods for a holistic science-based management approach toward the conservation of this species. Fish be with you!